welcome to the Foreign Fancy Playlist. My name is Adam, and in today's video, we're talking all about Revenge of the Vampire. Revenge of the Vampire is book 58 in the series, and it's the second release for 1995, and it's the second to last final uh, release in the original Puffin series. Written by Keith Martin, the cover illustration is done by Les Edwards, and all the internal artwork is done by Martin McKenna. And uh, incidentally, that is the original three lineup of artists who worked on Vault of the Vampire, which is a predecessor to this book. And I gotta say, guys, you knocked it out of the park. I mean, Vampiric Jelly, where do you ever get that in a book? Um, the illustrations are really cool, almost lifelike, one would say. Really cool looking. Um, so, I mean, Martin McKenna knocks it out of the park completely. You got some really cool, I mean, look at him there smoking his peace pipe. Uh, really cool illustrations. The front cover is pretty cool as well. Um, and the story is very different, even though similar ground. Um, this book also includes going to the castle uh, and confronting the vampire. Not just you're in the castle and you've got to get to the vampire. This one is the journey to that castle as well. And we did it in a live read not so long ago, and we died before we even got to the castle. So it's a very challenging book. But there are a few mistakes in this book, which seems to be a repetitive thing in the later entries of the series. Um, there are many paragraph turning errors, as well as just simple editorial ones where it's the wrong word used. Um, but this is the first time as well um, where the map... Um, or not the map, sorry. There is a cool map inside, which I'll discuss in a moment. But this is the first time in the Final Fantasy series where... Uh, the first decision doesn't come in paragraph one, it comes in the background info. Uh, every Final Fantasy book usually contains a background section, and it's the text that tells you who you are and what you're doing. But in this one, uh, you have a choice to make, and if you make it wrong, you could end up dead in your before you even begin your adventure. I mentioned a map before, and that is the map there, which was written or designed by Jonathan Green. Uh, who's also written some of the other great books as well. Um, and we were talking about errors before. Again, like the previous book to this Mage Hunter, the uh, adventure sheet features three skill, no stamina, and no luck scores. So uh, a bit of a printing error there. Also, um, like Vault of the Vampire, there are faith points to keep hold of. Uh, in this one as well, you've got your blood points. And um, i got to say, I really enjoyed this book. And if you're a collector, you want to, you're going to want to track this down. It's one of the more hard to get books, though. So you're probably looking paying between thirty to fifty pounds, depending on where you get it from, because it's one of those ones that are quite, you know, sought after. Uh, like the next one we're going to be talking about next week, Curse of the Mummy. Um, I enjoyed playing it. It's really good. Re I'd go back and play it again. Repetitive value, really. Um, not much more can be said really about this book. I want to know your, what your thoughts are, though. Leave, leave your words down in the uh, comment section below. Tell me what you thought of this book, and next week we will fuck. <laughs> and next week we will should go through Curse of the Mummy. You know what? I'm leaving that in. I don't care. Uh, sorry, just sometimes that happens. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you next week, adventurers. Take care. Bye bye. I'm leaving that in. <laughs>